Hello everyone, this is lecture series 1 dealing with non-conventional energy sources where in this video we will be seeing about introduction and classification. In this, this is a new lecture series which we have started in our channel. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Thanks for the support shown. Generally, we know what is energy. Energy is nothing but the output of some work is said to be the energy. This energy was driven from a Greek word called energon. So this is the Greek word which means energy where it represents the work content that is done. Now this energy dealing with energy, various forms of energy, transformation of energy, the studies which deals with all these is known as energy science. From this we can understand that energy is one of the basic infrastructure which deals, which contributes to the economic growth and the development of a country. We were using fossil fuels for many decades which gave us thermal power. Think of if suppose this fossil fuels become extinct. What happens? Yes. So for that, we have moved for non-conventional and renewable energy sources. So these sources are concentrated by each and every country for its development and the economic growth. So these includes sea, wind, solid, geothermal, biomass, all these energies all comes under non-conventional and renewable energy sources. Based on the classification of energy, it is divided into different types. Based on usability, it is divided as primary and secondary sources. Based on the availability, whether it is short time or long time, it is divided as renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Based on the use, whether it is commercial or traditional, for traditional use, it is said as conventional and non-conventional energy sources and it is divided or it describes about the commercial application as well. So seeing in detail, depending upon the usability, you can see there are n number of sources available like coal, hydro, nuclear, natural gas, petroleum. What all these do? This becomes a source of the energy source what we use. That is these are the basic infrastructure which is available with this, we extract something, process something and it is converted into some energy sources. So here you can see coal which is taken from deep mines. It is prepared, purified and from that you can get either steam energy or thermal energy. Likewise, hydro, nuclear and natural gases, it is taken from different gas well mining, all those treatment and enrichment is done as per the requirement and it is sent to the power station where it generates electricity. When concerned about petroleum, it is taken from oil well where it is cracked and refined and it is supplied to different stations like petrochemical industry, diesel and fuel oils, petroleum industry, LPG gas, where it also produces thermal energy. So this is how based on the usability of energy, different sources are processed to give out some energy sources. What is primary sources? Primary sources is nothing but which is available in nature. The user or the customer doesn't need to go in search. It is already available in the nature like sunlight. It is already available throughout the country. Wind, it is already available. Biomass, natural gas. These are the sources which are already available in the nature. So with this, we extract, process and convert to form some kind of energy which is required by the consumers. Here you can see nuclear energy is extracted from radioactive substances like uranium. So we say that nuclear energy is naturally available. How? It is taken from some substance. So this is how each of the primary resources resides in the nature. Then what are secondary sources? So when, th when something is extracted, processed and converted, 
it is readily available for the customer so when it is readily available for the customers or consumers based on the demands then that is said to be the secondary resources in form of energy it doesn't deal with substances so electrical energy thermal energy these are secondary resources next is based on long term availability it is divided as renewable non renewable renewable is nothing but geothermal biomass solar water wind all these comes under renewable energy sources so these are the sources which is obtained which which are essentially in inexhaustible that is you cannot make it extend you cannot make wind extend because this is naturally occurring till there are trees and the forest we will get wind so these are renewable sources then what is non renewable sources it is nothing but nuclear oil natural gas and coal so these these are the sources where once replenished that is uh, once it is over you cannot go in search of it and take it out it should be available by its own you cannot replenish it 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 will be exhaustible these sources are exhaustible and next based on the traditional use it is divided as conventional and non conventional energy conventional energy is nothing but uh, it is traditionally uh, traditionally used one so where uh, uh, after a oil crisis which happened in 1978 fossil fuels nuclear and hydro's resources comes under conventional energy which was used traditionally but what is non conventional energy non conventional energy is nothing but it is not used traditionally but it is used for large scale purposes like solar wind biomass this is large scale purposes which is spread throughout the country through different countries so that is said to be the non conventional energy next based on the commercial application commercial energy sources M commercial energy sources is nothing but uh it is not not only available for for the industry purpose it is also used for commercial purposes like household task for general population even the general population can uh, make use of this commercial energy that is nothing but electricity coal refined petroleum products all these can be used by household purpose also so what is non conventional energy sources so these are not actually available for the household task you cannot it is non commercial is nothing but the sources which cannot uh, be bought to the commercial purpose through uh, money so like uh, fire road agriculture waste in rural area so agriculture waste in rural areas if it is a rural area where where the sand or the uh, uh, plain supports for the agriculture purpose there you can have your agricultural land you cannot buy that land and make use of that land in urban areas where agriculture will not support you will not give you any gain so such kind of resources is said to be the non commercial energy sources hope you have understood about the introduction and basic classification about the energy sources stay tuned for more information thank you